Hmm. Uh, math? This is my math. I mean, science lab again. Tides. But first, I gotta do some tidying up. We can model tides with household objects. Tides. You gotta take the Earth and and the moon, and the moon has its gravity as it's orbiting around the Earth. This ocean is going to be represented by this, uh, Elmer school blue, and, um, this water, okay? So, if the moon is here, and we felt that, and if we put the moon here, we, we, put, we have a high tide on this side, because all the water collects there, and all the water collects here. We have a high tide and a high tide, because the, the moon's gravity pulls the water toward it, and that creates high tide. So, if we have the sun, oh, okay, right here. Um, if we have the sun right here, and we have the moon in front of it, or behind it, then the, the high tides are going to come like this. We're going to have a high tide here, and a high tide here. And the, the, the reason for that is because the sun gravity and the moon gravity, there's a lot of gravity there. So it, it pulls the water more towards it, which makes more high tide, right? The, the, the Elmer's glue. And uh, then if the, if the moon's over here and the sun's over here, then they, they pull away from each other. So you have a little, the water over here is a high tide and the Elmer's glue, and they pull away from each other. Okay, so, so, oh, oh gosh darn. Uh, so that's how the high tide works now. Now, if we have the sun here and the moon over here, then they then they act against each other because the, the moon wants to make the tides be like this, but the sun wants to make them be like this, and it, it makes it like, uh, it's called neap tide, which means there's a lower tidal range, which means it doesn't get as high into the sky. Oh, gosh darn it. Ow. <laughs> now wait, no, no, wow. Well, okay, hang on. So, uh, so, so we need to talk about how often the um how. I need a band aid. <laughs> what, Billy? What did I tell you about being in my meth lab without the proper? I'm sorry. Get, go back into the classroom, Billy. Get out of my meth lab. I found a stone. No, that's not for you, Billy. Okay, no. now, now, now. We need to talk about how often these tides are happening, Billy. What did you do with my special water? Oh. Oh, okay. Let's get back to it. I need a minute. No, no, no. <laughs> Billy, get out of my special closet. Um, okay. So, so, so. We need to talk about how the, often the tides change. So we have our, our earth here. Where's my I moon? That. Billy, stop touching Hold my on. moon. Alrighty. We're about... Just excuse me, I'm fixing my armor plating. Okay. Those are the phases of the moon. Those are the phases. Oh, 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 eh, eh. What? Stop, Billy. We go back to ESD class. We talk Sorry. about this, okay? We did, no, you're not allowed to. I here. gotta put it. Go back Ooh. to ESD. No, the Billy. Billy, what did we, we talked about? What did we, we talk about this, Billy? I'm sorry. Go back to ESD class. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Oh, I didn't see, I was just uh, sniffing my court collection. Um, so we're going to talk about um, Venus's third ring. Here I got some science documents. Let me get all this out of the way. All right. We're going to talk about the moon today. So, um, that's literally useless. Who made these? watching this top quality science video, make sure to like and subscribe. Gotta destroy the evidence. Those are the phases of the moon, those are the phases.
phases of the moon and those are the 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 phases of the moon of the moon that you see in the sky.